What's going on guys? Welcome back to another My Faction video. Today we're going to be going over some new live events here in My Faction that are going to be appearing very very soon. I'm very excited for these because these are looking like a lot of fun. Definitely I want to let you uh, let me know in the comment section down below which live event you guys qualify for once I go over these. I'm definitely excited for them. I saw uh, you know a few of them but I didn't go into full on detail so let's get right into it guys and I started my official playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. My goodness, guys, the game is so fire. I played it on my PC. It is amazing. Please, definitely go check it out. I will have a pinned comment in the comment section down below of the playthrough. Make sure you guys check out my Silent Hill 2 Remake playthrough. It is fire. I highly suggest you guys check it out, man. That was a great video, and we got more coming. All right, but anyways, here we go. As you guys can see, we have a ton of live events we're going to go ahead and get right into them. We will start off with some of the other stuff and then we'll go up into the, you know, the better stuff as well. But off rip, you guys can see it. Action figure elite John Cena. Now, do I have this card? I have a feeling I have this card. I don't know. I might have this card, but I'll go for him again. He is right here in a free live event. You guys can claim an action figure John Cena here in 22 hours. So tomorrow, oh shoot. Tomorrow, you guys can get yourself... This elite action figure, John Cena, which is really cool. Definitely make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up. And I know some of you guys will be using him in weekly towers and stuff. You know, obviously, since he's a ruby, he's not going to be nothing too crazy. So this is a weekly tower type of card you would use if you guys haven't used him already before. But that's really cool. I'll definitely take that. We also have this Cody Rhodes event coming back live again. Featuring, the, you need the Dusty Rhodes from a live event from a long time ago, I'm sure. I don't know how I don't have him. Maybe it was like uh, I needed to get a pack, a card from a pack or something. So that sucks because I really hope I can, like, you know, they bring them back. I doubt it. They're not. It's in 22 hours. They're not. Dang it. Well, anyways, this Cody Rhodes might be used for a future live event. I know it's crazy. He's a ruby. I know you, you might think, why Why would I need him? I have a feeling because of what we're about to see in, in soon. I'm actually very excited. I'm very excited. And I want to know how many of you guys are going to be participating in it as well. This Cody Rhodes event, definitely, if you guys have these cards, I'm pretty sure this was already an event in the in the past, but if you guys have both of these cards and you guys somehow don't have this Cody Rhodes card, definitely play this live event and just do it because it might be useful in the coming weeks or whatever. So definitely go for this live event if you guys can. We also have a Supreme, uh, a Singlet Supreme pack here. And all you guys need to do is just, you know, use a Ruby card, which should be very, very easy. 50 tokens, just like that. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. A lot. Of, these are some fun live events coming up. I'm actually really excited for these. Get yourself a chance at getting some pink diamond cards alongside some tokens. That, you know, that that's always amazing, you know. Another one as well, all you have to do is use a Ruby card, which is awesome. Same thing here. You get 25 tokens as well. I'll take any tokens I can get. So that's awesome as well. And then we also have a couple more live events here. This Omega event is back as well. You need the uh, Superstar Series 2 J Uso. I mean, that starts in eight days, so maybe there's a chance that I can get them. We'll see. And there's also the Money in the Bank J Uso event that... Oh, it's a Persona Cody Rhodes, a 97 overall pink diamond card. My goodness. We will go ahead and take a look at his stats soon. But before we do that, <laughs> well, let's, let's slow down first. Off rip, tomorrow, I will be here. Tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow, I'm going to be posting another Silent Hill video. So make sure you guys check that out. And then we'll also be having this card review as well and going over the Weekly Towers as well. But also, here we have it. A Jackson Smooth card featuring a gold Superstar Series 1 J Uso card. I did look at the stats beforehand. Sometimes I do that. You know, I always keep it real with you guys. If I don't look at the stats, I don't look at the stats. Sometimes I do. This card right here, I literally looked at the stats because I was just I just woke up. I was like, wait, what the heck? I was like, I have to see this. <laughs> so here are the rules. Is there a time limit? There's no time limit. That's perfect. Okay. This might be kind of easy. It's a is it a ladder? Oh, it's a ladder match. Hmm. Okay. This should be an interesting live event to go for. We will be going for it tomorrow, like I said. <sighs> All right. It is what it is. I'm definitely looking forward to this. Here's the thing about this card. This is why I'm a little bit like, kind of like, ah, 
So here he is. It's a 96 overall card. You know, it's a jobber card. But here are his stats. I mean, you guys see it. Strike reversal 81, arm power 81, which is decent, you know. Grappling reversal is 81. Body durability is 80, which is actually pretty nice, actually. Like, his, his stats on offense and defense seem actually pretty decent. But then you get down here. He is a striker, which is awesome. His finisher is at 81. Okay, that's 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 typical too. Some some cards have lower finishers. It's cool. And with my manager, it'll get boosted. His specials are 81 as well. Movement speed is 81. Pin escape 81. I'm seeing too many 81s. What's up with all these 81s? This card is decent. You know, this card could make my squad, but the reason why he will not make my squad, what is this? <laughs> what is this? So this card, unfortunately, will not make my squad. Hey, I've been seeing this guy. If you guys don't know, for all the new people here, shout out to the OGs. I've been playing my faction since day one of WWE 2K22. Literally, since 2K22, it, since it's been introdu introduced into 2K, I've been playing it since day one up until now. I, I'm, I can, I'm considered an OG, I guess, if you want to say that, because I've been doing it since the start. You guys know me. I don't care if it's a pink diamond or a galaxy opal. If the badges and stats aren't the best, you you, you don't want to use it. And because there's there's times where people might think that oh it's a pink diamond so it has to make my squad. No no no. Go stick with your diamond cards. If you have a better diamond card than this, just stick with the diamond card. So this card for sure will definitely not make my squad. But I highly suggest you guys you know get it if you guys can. This will be a fun card to use. In a proving ground, you know, if you just want to mess around and just see what his movesets like. And who knows, he could be a card requirement as well. You know, we've seen it in the past where, you know, you need to get certain cards from, you know, by doing these gold live events. And then you'll have to use them again in a future live event. So I'm going to still go for him. Hopefully he can be in a future live event for a better card. But it is what it is. So hopefully this live event isn't too stressful because the reward isn't that rewarding honestly unless unless your squad isn't the best then this card could definitely be useful for you don't really need to go over this too much this omega card is back as well you guys seen his stats already really nice card really great move set badge wise are pretty good as well Not, nothing too crazy but it, you can still make it work especially since he has a great move set as well so uh and he has resiliency as his uh ability which is really cool one thing i will say there this card does have a chance at having an insane moveset. If this card can have an insane moveset that actually stuns, you know, his opponents faster, even without seeing like a B, like, like Alexa Bliss. I already told you guys this. I have to tell you guys this again. This Alexa Bliss card is really good. Though her badges aren't the craziest when it comes to seeing like a B and stuff, her moveset's so good, she stuns opponents super fast from her moveset alone. So if this card can do the same, it could, it probably still won't make my squad, but it will still definitely help the card being better. So hopefully that's the case with this card. I just had to say that. <laughs> but next up, we also have this Cody Rhodes event here. And he's a 97 overall, which is really cool. We're like we're really getting closer and closer to Galaxy Opal tier, man. I mean, just look at that. I mean, I know we just started with Pink Diamond tier, but these card stats are starting to get up very, very fast. I think we're going to be in Galaxy Opal tier sooner than we thought. I, I have a feeling we are. But here's a look at his stats. Arm power 78. Lake power 83, power submission offense is 67, dang. 88 strike reversal, uh, body durability is at 88 as well. Pin escape 88, 93 finisher, 88 special, and recovery is at 88. So really cool card. Um, I definitely will not be able to participate in this live event, unfortunately, because as you guys can see, my MFP is gone. I was opening up <laughs> all those packs from the Mass Mayhem packs. And uh, I, I, I definitely need to get into saving mode. For Galaxy Opal tier, I have to get into, get into saving mode. I have to. Especially with these live events coming up. We have to. But here's a look at his badges as well. Really nice badges. You know, the Sting Like a Bee is really good. Second Wind, good. Slippery Ill, Wet Blanket, Rebel Rouser. This is actually a pretty decent card. Uh, Badge-wise, is obviously nothing too crazy, but he is a Persona. And his moveset alone is already great. So with the badges that he has... He'll definitely, like, this card would make my squad. He would. He would. It's a really nice card for sure. Definitely let me know if you guys will be going for this card. All you guys need is a Jey Uso. Man, that's actually really nice. Dang. 14 days from now. So there's a chance that I might be able to participate in this event. So we will see what happens there. 
<laughs> and last but not least, right here, let's like, I'm happy. I'm happy. Randy Orton, I love Randy Orton's moveset in the, in the 2K games. I'm very happy. I'm honored that I will be able to participate in this 97 overall, overall Randy Orton 09 card. And yes, he is a Persona card as well. Oof, I feel like this is going to be one of those. This, this might be a cheesy event, man. I have to use a live event Emerald J Uso. <laughs> so this could be a little bit cheesy. Let's see. Is there a time limit? There's a 10 minute time limit. False count and words off. All right, good, good, good. There's a ring. There's uh, there's a ring out. Perfect, perfect. Two out of three falls. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be cheesy. <sighs> okay, the HUD's not visible. Ron Breaker. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be cheesy, man. This is gonna be one of those events that's gonna stress me out. <laughs> and what's crazy is this event's gonna be going on once Black Ops Six is out. So you know, you know, my schedule is gonna be even crazier. So dang, I'm definitely, <laughs> I might rage on this event for sure. I might rage for sure. <laughs> this is gonna be one crazy live event. But let's go ahead and take a look at this card stats, man. This card will for sure make my squad. I'm pretty sure he will. I mean, his moveset is gonna be so good. I don't see why he wouldn't make my squad, even if his badges aren't the best. But arm power is a 93. Leg power 93 as well. Grappling offense is a 83. And this is why it's very important to make sure you do as many live events as possible at the start of the game because this is what they do. If you guys missed out on those live events at the start of the game, then you're not going to be able to participate in an event like this. So I highly suggest, you know, when 2K25 comes out, just try to go for as many live events as possible, if live events are even a thing, um, which I'm assuming they will be. But yeah, so that's very important. 85 strike reversal, which is really cool. Arm durability is an 88. This card is both great on offense and defense. It's it's amazing. Pin escape a 93. Dang, let's go. 93 finisher, specials a 93. Movement speed 73. That's that's pretty good as well. Really good card. And oh oh wow, this is my first time looking at his badges. Steel like a B on gold. Rebel rouser on gold. I'll take it. Heavy handed. All the answers. Slippery ill. That's what I'm talking about. And quick winner, I like it. This card is Jack approved. Definitely will make my squad for sure. This is definitely it right here. I will take it for sure. And he has resiliency as his ability. So, wow. That is about it. Those are all the new upcoming live events dropping in my faction. Let me know. Do you guys participate in any of these events? Let me know. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will be participating in this event right here. Uh, or maybe some of you guys won't even waste your MRP. I mean, I, I completely understand that. But other than that, there's a lot of fun stuff happening in the upcoming weeks and especially tomorrow. So, of course, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to Jax Gaming because as soon as these live events go live, I will be over here recording and uh, I'll have it posted as soon as possible. But, man, what a what a crazy batch of live events here on this Sunday, man. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to Jack's Game if you guys are new. Make sure you guys check out my video on Silent Hill 2 Remake. I got a lot more dropping. And I, hey, it, it's so much fun, guys. I highly suggest you guys check it out. I would really appreciate it if you guys went there and just dropped a like or comment something down below on that video as well. I would really appreciate it for real. And um, yeah, I also got a Call of Duty video dropping soon as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. And let me know. Do you guys participate in any of these live events? This Randy Orton event. Which card are you most excited for out of all these live events? Definitely let me know in the comment section. But uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, man. I'm very excited for this. I'll see you guys. Peace.